Hello, my dear students. This is Mr. Mahmoud Abul Hassan from King Gabriel's Middle School English Department. Flying High 6, Student Book, Unit 5, pages 54 and 55. Look at the pictures. What do you think they show? Picture 1. It's a stone with hole. Picture 2. It's plastic card. Picture 3. Coins. Okay. What does each picture show? If you look at picture 1, can you guess what does it show? Yeah, of course, some students answer correctly, of course. Okay. It's a stone desk from the Yap Islands in Micronesia. Micronesia or Micronesia? Both are correct. What about picture two? Picture two, it's a plastic card. And it shows a debit card. It's called a debit card, which we use in order to withdraw money from the cash point. Look at picture three. Coins. I think it's what? Roman coins. Roman coins. Warming up. Before we start our lesson, let's check your general information for warming up. Here we have some countries and you are supposed to say or write the currency each country has. You can pause the video for two minutes. Let's check what you've just written. What is the currency of Saudi Arabia? Of course, all of you know the currency of Saudi Arabia. The currency of Saudi Arabia is the real. China. What's the currency of China? The currency of China is yuan. What's the currency in Denmark? Krona. Krona. What's the currency of France? The currency of France is euro. India. What's the currency in India? The currency in India is rupee. What about Japan? The currency in Japan is yen. What about Poland? The currency in Poland is zloty. What about Russia? The currency in Russia is rupee. Rupee. South Africa. The currency in South Africa is Rand. Switzerland. Switzerland. What's the currency in Switzerland? It's Swiss francs. Vietnam. Vietnam. What's the currency of Vietnam? It's Dong. Look at the gaps in the text. Predict what words or types of words would fill each one. If you want to succeed in an exam, when you need to listen and complete notes, always read the incomplete notes before you listen. This helps you to know what to listen for. Look carefully at the words that come just before or after each space and think about the meaning and type of word that is missing. Now you will hear a report by an expert on the history of money. For A to J in two, complete the, the, the sentences. Write no more than two words or a number for each answer. Now you are going to listen to a report by an expert on the history of money. While listening, try to fill the gaps with one or two words.
recognizable forms of money. The Greek historian Herodotus said that the first people to make gold and silver coins were the Lydians in around 600 BC. Lydia was a kingdom in Asia Minor. In fact, the first coins were not gold or silver. They were made of electro. That's spelled A L E C T R U L, which is a mixture of gold and silver. Soon after, they separated the gold and silver. Model verbs of speculation and deduction, present and future. Before we start, we should know what does speculation mean. Can you guess what does it mean, the word speculation? A speculation is a little bit similar meaning to the word guessing. And deduction means using the information you have to understand a particular situation. Using the information you have to understand a particular situation is deduction. So, today we are going to learn how to make speculation and deduction but in the present and the future. If I'm 90% certain that something is true, I should use the modal verb must good. But if I'm 90% certain that something is not true, I use what can't. If there is a 50% possibility that something is true or not, I should use one from these modal verbs, which is may, might, and could. May and might can be used in the negative form, but could cannot be used. In the present and the future, all these modal verbs should be followed by infinitive. Model verbs of speculation and deduction, present and future. Look at these sentences and complete the rules below with the verbs in bold. A. One day we might stop using cash. B. Stone discs must be the most unusual type of money ever. C. He may have a debit card, but he may not. D. We might not use metal coins in space. E. That can't be the real price. F. This could mean 
the end of debit cards. Here in this slide, you're asked to complete with a suitable modal verb. One, we use space, space, and space when there is a 50% possibility that something is or will be true. Okay, if there is a 50% possibility that something is true or is not true, okay? What are the modal verbs that can be used here? Excellent. We use might, may, and could. The negative forms are may not, might not, and we cannot use the negative form of could when there is a 50% possibility that something isn't true. Two, we use when we are 90% certain that something is true. If we are 90% certain that something is true, we use must. We use when we are 90% certain that something isn't true, we use what? Can't. When we are speculating and making deductions, the opposite of must is can't. And of course you should know that if we are 100% of anything, we do not use any modal verb. Look at these things. What do you think they may, must, or can't be? And explain why. Here in this slide, you're supposed to make some speculations and deductions using the suitable phrasal verb, must, may, might, could, and can't. Complete the sentences with must, can't, may, or might not. He's been to that restaurant 10 times. He love it. This person went to this restaurant 10 times. So he must love it. It's unusual that Aisha hasn't come to school yet. She be well, or perhaps her bus is just late. Here, there is the word all, oh, or perhaps, so the speaker is not sure. He is 50, there is a 50% possibility. Okay, so the correct answer may not or might not. Three, that be Rizwan's wallet because his is brown and this one's black. So, that can't be Rizwan's wallet. Why? Because his wallet is brown and what we have is black. Number four. I go to the museum tomorrow, but I'm not sure. I hope my parents let me. Here be we have, I'm not sure. I'm not sure means there is a 50% possibility. That's why we should use, should use what? Might. She have a lot of money because she spends a fortune on her clothes. A fortune means what? A lot of money. So, she must have a lot of money. He tell a joke very well because nobody wants to listen to him. He can't tell a joke very well because nobody wants to listen to him. Seven, it be hard to become a millionaire because not many people manage it. Because not many people manage it, so it must be hard. Eight, my parents lend me some money or they, I don't really know because I've never asked them before. Here we have or, so there is a 50% possibility. That's why we can use might or might not.